Okay. Uh, so I know the tough questions are coming from the surfer. <laughs> well, first of all, could you say your name and spell it just so we'll have it on the tape? John Meg, J O H N M A Y. What happened in court today? Uh, the case against Mr. Byatt was dismissed. And what happens next with him? Pardon me? What happens next with him? He'll be freed? He'll be freed today. He'll go home. Did this decision come as a surprise to you? Uh, not really, because Mr. Byatt was never guilty of the crime. So it's the right decision. When did Mr. Byatt find out that he was going to be a free man today? Just this morning. And that's when I formally heard. I heard rumors yesterday that it would be dismissed, but I didn't confirm them until just before walking into the courtroom. I advised Mr. Byatt of the rumors this morning, and once they were confirmed, I told him. And what was his reaction when you were able to finally confirm to him he would be going free? I think his main reaction is one of relief. He's been in custody for over three years now, battling this case, and uh, he's ready to go home. What's his next step? What does he plan to do now? Well, he wants to have a life. He wants to have a family. He wants to um, move on from here. Does he still have a relationship with Miss Lee? Uh, not that I know of. Uh, were they? But they were formally engaged, or they? Is that... They were at one point. Yes. All right. That engagement is not. But I, I think he's going to move on. Okay. Is there a possibility that he could be tried for this murder in the future if, if other evidence? Yes, is... there is. Um, the statute of limitations is forever. If the people find more evidence, which they won't, but if they were to find more evidence, they could potentially try Mr. Byatt again um, because it's a dismissal. It's not uh, an acquittal. Now, Mr. Uh, uh, um, but again, I, I want to point out that he could be tried a hundred times for this crime, and he would still be not guilty. Now, M Mr. Green's family is not here today. What would you say to them? Because they're convinced that your client was committed this, this murder. Well, I'm not sure that they're convinced of that. I understand uh, the heartache and the heartbreak, and my heart goes out to them. And it's, it's, it's awful um, to lose your son, to lose your, your father, to lose um, your friend. And uh, I'm, I, it's a terrible thing for the Green friends and family. And uh, I wish that um, it could all be undone. But having said that, Mr. <laughs> Byatt had nothing to do with this. So Keith was shot through the mouth. Will we ever know who did it? Well, if you remember, because I know you were there every day, uh, there was some uh, uh, discrepancy as to whether or not he was actually shot. Uh, the, the pathologists differed in their opinion. And in the end, I don't think that they proved that Mr. Byatt was shot. Uh, excuse me, that Mr. Um, Green was shot in the mouth. He could have been killed by any method. And I argued that at closing that uh, <coughs> he perhaps could have been strangled. And it looked more likely to me that that's what happened. So we, we just, maybe we'll just never know who strangled Keith, who killed him. I guess not, because the people um, have let Adela go. So we won't know. But you guys still believe that Adela is like the killer? Uh, you know what, at this point, I'm just grateful that my client gets to go home, and I think Mr. Wagstaff made a very considered and uh, accurate judgment in what to do, and I applaud him for that. Uh, so I, I don't want to speculate any further. Okay. It's just time to, to move on from here. All right, thanks.